अनुसंधान ऑल गुजरात इंटीग्रेटेड क्लासरूम सैटेलाइट ना माध्यम थी जोड़ती कड़ी एटले संधान गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स जस्ट वी हैव सीन द कंसोनेंट वॉयल साउंड्स इन इंग्लिश नाउ लेट्स सी द कंसोनेंट साउंड्स अंडर द स्पेशल लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ इंग्लिश in sandan it is an initiative uh, by office of commissioner higher education and knowledge consortium of gujarat this is for second semester english of gujarat university and north gujarat university english consonants friends when we discussed vowel sounds we discussed introduction and in this introduction we saw that language is a one of uh, the effective means of uh, communication it is used in a spoken form and a written form but the spoken form of language is the most important as we saw that the speech comes first in the history of language speech comes first in the history of individual even speech as a medium of communication is used much than written form so the spoken form of language is important it is also important for us to understand the production of sounds because when we use language in its a spoken form the sounds of language as used when it is used in a written form we use letters but in spoken form we use sounds and that's why we have to understand we have to know how the sounds are produced and what are the sounds so here we have to discuss the consonant sounds in english to understand the sounds first we have to see the production of sounds as we discussed earlier the sounds are produced with the help of air we take air in our breath we throw out the air in our breath when we throw the air out that air comes in contact with articulators and certain sounds are heard so what is the production of sounds air comes out from the lungs it passes through the vocal cords and it comes out either from the oral cavity or from the nasal cavity when it comes from the oral cavity the passage of the nasal cavity is blocked by uvula when it comes from nasal cavity the passage of the oral cavity is blocked by uvula mitro फेफसा में जय हवा बहार आए थे तेरे ए श्वास नरी में थी और स्वरपेटी में पसार थी एरल कैविटी में अथवा तो नेजल कैविटी में बहार आती हो जयरल कैविटी में हवा बहार आती हो तेरे अपना मोढ़ा अंदर पार्ट्स है जेने अपने स्पीच मेकेनिजम आर्टिक्युलेटर्स कही है एमनी कॉन्टेक्ट में आए थे आर्टिक्युलेटर्स एक बीजा कॉन्टेक्ट में आवाने कारण हवा अवरोधाती जवा है आ हवा क्या संपूर्णपणे अवरोधाई है तो क्या अंशीय पार्शियली अंशीय रीते अवरोधाई है एना आ अवरोधा कारण जयरे हवा रिलीज थी एने कारण अपन ने जो ध्वनिओ संभाई है एने अपने साउंड्स अँ लैंग्वेज मेट साउंड्स तो आज आप जीशू के लैंग्वेज में कॉन्सोनेंट्स क्या क्या है जेम अपने अगौ जो यूएस बी सी अलिय दी साउंड्स आर डिवाइडेड इन टू टू कैटेगरीज कॉन्सोनेंट्स एंड वॉल्स एंड वी ऑल्सो सो देट वॉल्स आर ट्वेंटी इन नंबर्स कॉन्सोनेंट्स आर ट्वेंटी फोर इन नंबर्स इफ वी कम्पेर दी साउंड्स विथ लेटर्स इन इंग्लिश देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन दी नंबर ऑफ लेटर्स एंड नंबर ऑफ साउंड्स 
અંગ્રેજીની ભાષા અંગ્રેજી ભાષાની અંદર જ્યારે આપણે વાત અંગ્રેજી ભાષા વિશેની જ્યારે આપણે વાત કરીએ છીએ ત્યારે આપણે એ ખાસ સમજવું રહ્યું કારણ કે ગુજરાતી અને હિન્દી ભાષાની અંદર જેટલા લેટર્સ આપણને જોવા મળે છે એટલા સાઉન્ડ્સ પણ સામે આપણને જોવા મળે છે ગુજરાતી ભાષાની અંદર એક સાઉન્ડ ને દર્શાવવા માટે ને રજૂ કરવા માટે આપણી પાસે એક લેટર છે મતલબ દેર ઇઝ વન ટુ વન રિલેશનશીપ બિટવીન દેટ લેટર એન્ડ ધી પ્રોડ્યુસ્ડ સાઉન્ડ દેર ઇઝ વન ટુ વન કોરસ્પોન્ડન્સ બિટવીન ધી લેટર એન્ડ સાઉન્ડ બટ ઇન ઇંગ્લિશ ઇટ ઇઝ નોટ દેર ઇન ઇંગ્લિશ વોટ હેપન્સ ધી વન સાઉન્ડ ઇઝ રિપ્રેઝેન્ટેડ બાય વન મોર દેન વન લેટર્સ દાખલા તરીકે હું તમને કહું કે આપણે કહીએ છીએ સીઓ એમ ઇ અને એનો ઉચ્ચાર આપણે કરીએ છીએ કમ સી લેટર સી એઝ રિપ્રેઝેન્ટ્સ ધી સાઉન્ડ ક બીજો શબ્દ લઈએ તો કે આઈ ટી ઈ એનો ઉચ્ચાર આપણે કરીશું કાઇટ અગેન ધ સાઉન્ડ ઇઝ ક બટ ધી લેટર ટુ રિપ્રેઝેન્ટ દેટ સાઉન્ડ ઇઝ ચેન્જડ અલિયર ઇટ વોઝ સી સી રિપ્રેઝેન્ટેડ ક નાઉ હિયર કે લેટર કે રિપ્રેઝેન્ટ્સ ક ઇફ આઈ સે યુ એન આઈ ક્યુ યુ ઈ યુ એન આઈ ક્યુ યુ ઈ ધ પ્રોનાન્સિએશન ઓફ ધી વર્લ્ડ ઇઝ યુનિક ક અપિયર્સ એટ ધી ફાઇનલ પોઝિશન ઓફ ધી વર્લ્ડ બટ ટુ રિપ્રેઝેન્ટ દેટ ક ધ કોમ્બિનેશન ઓફ થ્રી લેટર્સ ઇઝ યુઝ ક્યુ યુ ઈ ક્યુ યુ ઈ ધ કોમ્બિનેશન ઓફ થ્રી લેટર્સ રિપ્રેઝેન્ટ ધ સાઉન્ડ ક ઇફ આઈ ટેક આ નધર વર્લ્ડ C H A R A C T E R C H A R A C T E R the pronunciation of that word is character ka is produced sound is ka but the letters to represent the sound r c and h to apne aa char udaharano ma joyu ke the first one the sound ka is represented by letter c and the second one the same sound k is represented by letter k and the third one unique the sound k is represented by combination of q u e in character the sound k is represented by the combination of ch so one sound is represented by one or more than one letters matlab there is no one to one correspondence in english it happens but in gujarati and hindi in our vernacular languages if we say ka then we have the letter ka in alphabet and there isn't any other letter to represent that ka sound we use only letter ka to represent the sound ka we use only letter s to represents sound s but in english apne joyu ke c o m e c represents ka sound in this word c represents ka sound in this word but if i say c e m e n t c e m e n t cement again the same c the letter letter c is same it was used in c o m e it is used in c e m e n t the letter c is same but in two different words the same letter c represents two different sounds in c o m e c represents k in c e m e n t c represents s so there is no one to one correspondence between the num uh, between the letter and the sound and that's why the number of letters and the number of sounds are different in english and because of that property of uh, english language it is said english is non phonetic language and that's why you know pronunciation in english is a little bit tricky compared to our indian languages so here we have to differ, uh, we have to discuss uh, these consonant sounds uh, and the total number of consonant sounds are 24 english consonant sounds consonant sounds is a speech sound that is articulated with the complete or partial closure of the vocal tract mitro apne joyu k 
के एयर कम्स आउट फ्रॉम द लंग्स वैन इट क्रॉसेज दिस वोकल कोड्स देर आर टू पैसेजेस फॉर द एयर टू ट्रैक्ट्स वन इट इज ओरल कैविटी अनदर इट इज माउथ कैविटी बट इन माउथ कैविटी द एयर गेट्स ब्लॉक्ड इन द ओरल ट्रैक्ट द एयर गेट्स ब्लॉक्ड का तो संपूर्णपणे अवरोधाय हवा का तो आंशिक रीते हवा अवरोधाय हवा अवरोधा कारण है द कॉन्टेक्ट ऑफ टू आर्टिक्युलेटर्स का तो जीभनी जो जीभनी जे टीप है टोच ए उपरना तावे टच करे ए हवा ने ब्लॉक करे जीभनो पाचड़ो भाग उपरना तावा ने टच करे हवा ब्लॉक करे नीचे नो होट ए उपरना दात साथ टच थाई थे अने हवा पार्शियली ब्लॉक थाई थे तो आ होट दात ताड़वू जीभ आज बदी बाब आज बदी बाबतों से ये आर्टिकुलेटर्स से साउंड प्रोडक्शन में अपने मददरूप थाना रा अंगों से अने इमना एक बीजा साथ ना कांटेक्ट ना कारणे हवा जारे अवरोधाई थे अने अवरोधाया पची ये जहरीते रिलीज थाई थे हाउ इ अने ये रिलीज थवा कारण जे प्रकार अपन ने अवाजों संभाई है ध्वनि संभाई है एने अपने कॉन्सोनट साउंड्स कही अस्पीच साउंड दैट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द कॉन्टेक्ट ऑफ आर्टिक्युलेटर्स एंड दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिट्वीन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वॉल साउंड्स एंड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ कॉन्सोनट साउंड्स मित्रों अपने वॉल साउंड्स प्रोडक्शन में जुं के आर्टिक्युलेटर्स टच नहीं थता मत जीभ अने त्र भाग में वेचेली अपने जी फ्रंट बेक सेंटर अने आ जीभ हल्की उपर उठती अपन ने अनुभवाई और कारण प्रोडक्शन थाय बाकी एम हवा अवरोधाती नहीं क्या कारण अवरोधा कारण एकज हो कि बे आर्टिक्युलेटर्स जय एक बीजा कॉन्टेक्ट में आए वेन टू आर्टिक्युलेटर्स कम इन टू कॉन्टेक्ट विद इच अदर दे ब्लॉक दी ट्रेक दे ब्लॉक दी पैसेज एंड एर इज ब्लॉक्ड बट इन दी प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वर्ल साउंड it does not happen so this is the difference between consonants and vowel sounds in consonant sounds air is blocked completely or partially in production of vowel sounds air is not blocked anywhere because that um, no articulators come in contact in the production of vowel sounds but in production of consonant sounds articulators come in contact and when they come in contact they block the air तो आज है ये तफावत है कॉन्सोनट साउंड्स अने वोवल साउंड्स नो वोवल साउंड्स इन इंग्लिश आर कैटेगराइज फ्रॉम थ्री डिफरेंट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यूज द फर्स्ट इज मैनर ऑफ आर्टिक्युलेशन के भी रीते कॉन्सोनट प्रोड्यूस थाय आधार एनु डिविजन्स पड़े छे. The second category is place of articulation, speech mechanism नहीं अंदर मित्रों आज जैसे है अपनों अ speech mechanism से अने ऐनी अंदर ना जो भाग से articulators ऐनी मदद थी कई जगियाँ ये sound produce था इसे होठना भागे produce था इसे दांतना पाचड़ना भागे produce था इसे मोड़ना अंदर ना भागे पाचड़ना भागे produce था इसे where where it where it is produced the place of pro, uh, production of the sound to so, ek category is from place of articulation point of view ane triji category is voicing point of view mitro sounds je che sounds ne fari thi be category ma ahya divide karvama aavya che pehli category jene apne voiced sound kahiye chhe biji category jene apne voiceless sound kahiye chhe सीम्पल से कि जयरे अपने अपनी बने आगड़ियों बने कान में मूकी कोई कॉन्सोनट्स बोलवा प्रयत्न करीशू तो अपन ने बे जुदी जुदी बाबत तो फील थे फॉर एन एक्जाम्पल प तो मित्रों पहलू जय आप प जय बोलीए छ तेरे अपन ने कोई अलग प्रकार हमिंग एम संभात नहीं पे अपने ब बोलवा प्रयत्न करे तरह अपन एवं लगे कि जाने अपने हवा ने अंदर खेचता होने अँ 
વોકલ કોડના ભાગે આપણને એક હમિંગ જેવો ધ્વનિ સંભળાય છે જ્યારે આપણને હમિંગ જેવો ધ્વનિ સંભળાય છે ઇટ મીન્સ દેટ સાઉન્ડ ઇઝ વોઇસ્ડ સાઉન્ડ હમિંગ નથી સંભળાતું ઇટ મીન્સ દેટ સાઉન્ડ ઇઝ વોઇસલેસ સાઉન્ડ બીજી એક બાબત છે કે આપણે જ્યારે અહીંયા હાથ રાખી અને કોઈ સાઉન્ડને બોલવાનો પ્રયત્ન કરીશું તો અહીંયા જો આપણને વાઇબ્રેશન ફીલ થાય તો એ સાઉન્ડ એ વોઇસ્ડ સાઉન્ડ છે If we don't feel any kind of vibration here in vocal cord, it means this is voiceless sound. So, vo- uh, so consonant sounds are categorized in three different categories. First, it is manner point of view, how the sound is produced. Second, it is place point of view, where the sound is produced. And third, it is voicing point of view, whether the sound is voiced or voiceless. manner of articulation manner of artic under this manner of articulation again the sounds are 24 consonant sound please keep keep this thing in mind we divide this 24 consonant sounds in each category suppose we talk about manner of articulation in this manner of articulation again we divide all 24 sounds in a different under different labels the first label it is plosive or it is also known as stop consonant okay now let's see what happens when we produce this sound this is manner of uh, manner of articulation matlab how that sound is produced kevi rite ye sound ne apne kevi rite produce kariye chhe sound kevi rite produce thai chhe e apne jovanu chhe emani pehli category plosive ane jene apne stop consonants tarike pan olkhi shakiye chhe articulation with complete closure of the air passage and sudden air release jab main tumne kayu mitro as i told you that air comes out from the lungs and this air comes out from the oral cavity in the production of this plosive sound air comes out from the oral cavity when it comes out from the oral cavity somewhere in the mouth any two articulators come come together and close the passes completely block the air is blocked completely when it is released it is a sudden release of the air achanak hawa chhodwa chhutti hoy se sudden release of the air and due to that sudden release apan ne u lage ke explosion explosion je wo awaz apan ne samlaye ahiya six sounds fall in this category out of this 24 six sounds fall in this category and they are p b t d k g p when air comes out two lips block the passage be hot ni madad thi passage block thai chhe air is blocked completely by two lips b when two lips banne be hot jare chhuta pade chhe tyare apanne eu lage je samlai chhe this is p this is b p b p b t t tip of the tongue touches to the alveolar ridge daant na pachhad na bhage daant na upar na daant na pachhad na bhage alveolar ridge T tip of the tongue touches to the alveolar ridge and because of that contact the oral tract is closed completely T D T D T D T D T D K the back of the tongue raises back of the tongue raises and touches to the soft palate the upper part of the mouth the back upper part of the mouth soft palate palate tarvu is divided into two hard palate soft palate dant upar na dant ni pachhi no je tarat no bhag chhe ene alveolar ridge kaishu apne alveolar ridge pachhi no je bhag chhe ene hard palate kaishu apne and the back part of that roof of the mouth upper part of the mouth is called soft palate so in production of k 
back part of the tongue rises and touches to the soft palate and that contact contact of back part of the tongue and soft palate that contact blocks the passage and that passage is blocked completely and that's why they are known as stop or plosive sounds so these are plosive sounds stop sounds articulation with complete closure of the air air passage oral tract and sudden air release is felt and due to that sudden air release we hear p b t d k g so it was the uh, one uh, one uh, category of manner of articulation it is plosive or stop consonant this is second category fricative consonants fricative 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 consonants articulated with close approximation close approx look at the look at the difference between plosive and fricatives articulated with complete closure it was plosive but articulated with close approximation of the articulators close approximation not complete closure matlab partially the oral tract is closed partially it means the air can air can pass through pass between that contact and when air passes some friction is heard because of the contact of this two articulator when air tries to pass in between friction be articulator vachche na sampark ne karane jare vachche thi hawa pasar thavano prayatna kare chhe ane ja ek samanya garshan jevu apanne lage friction and because of that friction we hear these are called fricative sounds articulated with close approximation of articulator friction is heard and due to that friction we hear f v th d s z sh j and h there are nine fricative sounds in english if we look at this consonant sounds from manner point of view so friends if we uh, if we produce f what happens see the lower lip touches to the upper teeth f and that friction is heard friction is heard this is f this is w th th s sh j z z h so these are fricative sounds fricative consonants so there are nine fricative consonants are nine in numbers in manner of articulation first it was plosive second it was fricative third it is a fricate consonants a fricate consonants are articulated with complete closure of air passage see the difference in the first one it was complete closure the second one it was partial closure and third one again it is complete closure but th this is not stop consonant because the air is released slowly in the plosive consonant the air was um, uh, tract oral tract was closed closure was complete but the release of the air was sudden and that's why it was plosive in the affricate consonant again the oral tract is closed completely the air is blocked completely but the release of the air is slow the air is released slowly due to that gradual release gradual separation of the articulation due to that gradual separation of the articulators when air is released slowly the articulus uh, articulators are separated gradually and due to that gradual separation of articulators the friction again the friction is heard and when this friction when we hear this friction we hear ch 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 and ch 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 see the closure is complete but this two articulator which matlab tongue and teeth 
टंग एंड टिथ दे आर सेपरेटेड ग्रेजुअली एंड वेन वी सेपरेट दैम ग्रेजुअली द एयर पास इज स्लोली ड्यू टू दैट स्लो स्लो पास स्लो रिलीज ऑफ द एयर अगेन फ्रिक्शन इज हर्ड एंड दैट दैट फ्रिक्शन इज सेम वे ज ज जम रुख नो ज सो दीज आर दीज आर कॉल्ड एफ्रिकेट कॉन्सोनेंट्स सो फर्स्ट इट वॉज प्लॉसिव कॉन्सोनेंट इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड स्टॉप बिकॉज द पैसेज इज कंप्लीटली क्लोज बट द रिलीज ऑफ द एयर वो एयर इज सडन एंड दैट्स वाई दे आर स्टॉप कॉन्सोनेंट्स एंड द सेकेंड वन इट्स नॉट कंप्लीट क्लोजर पार्शियल क्लोजर अप्रोक्सीमेशन क्लोजर इन अप्रोक्सीमेशन बट द रिलीज ऑफ द एयर वेन द एयर रिलीज इज because of that pa- partial closure the air can get out from that uh, from the gap between these two articulators and because of that the friction is held this is fricatives when the passage is blocked completely but the two articulators who block the passage are separated slowly gradually and because of that the pass air comes out slowly and because of that slow release of the air friction is held and they are called africate the next category in this manner of articulation of the sound is nasal consonant friends as i told you when air comes out when air comes out air a has two two ways to come out from the vocal cords it is oral cavity and nasal cavity at the back of the mouth we see a small tissue like uh, organ when that organ blocks the oral passage air passes through the nasal cavity when air passes through the nasal cavity certain sounds are produced and these are they, they are known as nasal sounds articulated with the complete closure of the oral tract see nasal sounds are produced are articulated with the complete closure of the oral tract and air released through the nasal cavity they are three see m ma na ang ang is it jare apne ma ma boliye chhe then two lips the oral tract is blocked by two lips m but the air passes through the nasal cavity and we listen to this uh, we hear the sound Mm. when we say na 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 tongue and teeth come in contact tongue and teeth come in contact and they block the oral tract oral tract is completely blocked but air passes through the nose nasal cavity and sound is heard mm. ang ang the back part of the tongue passes to the soft palate and blocks the oral passage that that connection blocks the oral passage but air releases through the nasal cavity and due to that reason that sound is heard and they are ma na ang this three sounds in english consonants this three sounds are known as nasal sounds so it was nasal sounds nasal consonants in english consonants after nasal it comes lateral consonants friends lateral consonant is articulated with com- complete closure in the center of the vocal tract l see l articulated with complete closure in the center of the vocal tract the sides of the tongue are lowered so that air can release by the sides without friction the oral oral cavity is blocked oral cavity is blocked at the center but the sides of the uh, sides of the tongues are kept lower and because of that the air can pass through the sides of the tongue and it passes without friction and the sound is heard and this is called la 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 is known as lateral sound so first it was plosive second it was fricatives third it was affricative affricate fourth it is nasal and fifth it is lateral 
after lateral that is rhotic and glide is also known as approximants vowels like vowels uh, vowels like articulation also described as semi vowels friends there are three sounds in uh, english consonants one it is y w and r y w w w is produced with w w h t we say what y w r these three are vowel like consonants the these three are also known as semi vowels these three are also known as glide a uh, glot uh, glottal sounds these three are also known as glottal sounds so it was uh, the manner of articulation now we have divided all uh, 24 sounds from manner of articulation in six different categories six sounds were plosive sounds nine sounds were fricative sounds two sounds were affricate sounds again three sounds were nasal sounds one was lateral and the last three were were uh, approximants now let's look at place of articulation place of articulation means the place where the sound is produced where where in the mouth two articulators come in contact it is a place of the production of sounds so the first place of articulation of sound is bilabial bilabial means the contact of two lips bilabial means the contact of two lips so here it is said spit sounds produced by the contact of upper and lower lips the spit sounds produced by the contact of upper and lower lips for an example p when we produced p when we produce p jem apne joyu ke hawa fifsa mati jare bar aave oral cavity mati e bar avti hoy chhe tyare be hot bega thai ane oral passage ne avrode block kare p p this is called bilabial same way b b in the production of b again two lips come into contact and this contact blocks the passage it is called bilabial ma म आपने हम नेजल में कि वेन बी प्रोड्यूस म टू लिप्स ब्लॉक द पैसेज बट द एर रिलीज इज थ्रू द नेजल कैविटी सो म इज बायलेबियल व व व विथ डबल्यू व इट इज ऑल्सो अ बायलेबियल साउंड दैन इट इज लैब्यूडेंटल लैब्यूडेंटल मीन्स द लिप एंड थीथ कॉन्टेक्ट ऑफ lip the sound produced with the contact of lip and teeth lip generally lower lip lower lip and upper teeth the contact of lower lip and upper teeth the sound produced with this contact is known as labiodental the spit sounds articulated by the contact of lower lip and upper teeth and they are f v f v mitro gujarati ma apne f ए बे बे होठ ने भेगा कर अपने गुजराती में फ बोलता हो अपनी गुजराती आदत ने कारण अंग्रेजी में अपने फ ए रीते बोलता हो तो ये एक खोटू उच्चारण से फ न फ ए हमेशा लोअर लिप गोज अंडर दी अपर टीथ कम्स इन कॉन्टेक्ट विथ अपर टीथ एंड विथ फ्रिक्शन एर इज रिलीज एंड फ इज प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड देट्स वाई इट्स इट इज फ फाद पाद पाद फ मित्रों बे शब्दों से डबल्यू एच टी एंड वी ओ टी ई जय डबल्यू एच टी अपनी सामने आए थे वेन वी वेन वी प्रिनाउंस दैट वर्ड वी से वॉट वॉट्स इज योर नेम वॉट वेन वी ओ टी ई वोट योर का कास्ट योर वोट कास्ट योर वोट वेन यू से वोट वी ओ टी ई suddenly the lower lip goes under the upper teeth when you say what is your name when you say what suddenly two lips meet together contact with these two lips so it is labiodental interdental interdental is also known as lingua dental 
lingua dental means a tongue and teeth also known as lingua dental lingua means tongue dental means teeth articulated with the tongue to the bottom edge of the front of a teeth see टल और इंटरडेटल एम जीप जो जीप नो वच्चे ब्लेड ब्लेड ऑफ दी टंग टचेस टू दी बॉटम पार्ट ऑफ दी अपर टीथ थ the 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 thank thank you thank you this thank you this so also known as lingua dental articulated with the touching of the tongue to the bottom edge of the front upper teeth air passes with friction through narrow passages created hmm. when that blade of the tongue touches to the bottom part of the teeth the narrow passage is created and from that narrow passage air comes out and that's why it is a narrow passage and that's why friction takes place and this friction is th the th the these are known interdental or you can say lingua dental terminology is same interdental or lingua dental friends next category from place point of view is alveolar lingua alveolar alveolar lingua alveolar because tongue touches to the alveolar ridge and that's why the contact of tongue it is lingua with alveolar and that's why it is lingua alveolar sound lingua alveolar sound so lingua alveolar is a place bilabial is a place alveolar is a place lingua alveolar is a place lingua dental is a place inter dental is a place so this is alveolar or you can say lingua alveolar articulated by the tongue touching to the alveolar ridge just behind the front upper teeth just behind the front upper teeth the sounds are d t now look t the tip of the tongue touches to the upper part of the teeth just behind the upper part of the t, uh, teeth t d s s s s in t and d the passage is closed completely and that's why it touches completely but in s and z it is approximate approximate closure it is partial closure and that's why uh, air can pass through the gap between the uh, two uh, articulators s z n n n again it is complete closure n l again it is complete closure l l because in lateral sound we saw ki passage is completed Uh, completely closed passage is completely closed but the sides of the tongues are kept lower and that's why air air passes through the sides without friction it was lateral so in la also the tip of the tongue touches to the upper part of the uh, 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 just upper teeth behind behind the upper teeth alveolar and that's why it is alveolar lingua alveolar so t d s z न ल दिज अ एलवेलर नेक्स्ट इट इज पैलेटल लिंगवा पैलेटल बिकॉज द टंग टचेस टू द पैलेट एज आई टोल्ड यू द रूप ऑफ द माउथ इज कॉल्ड पैलेट दैट पैलेट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू हार्ड पैलेट एंड सॉफ्ट पैलेट बिफोर दैट हार्ड पैलेट इट इज एलवेलर इज एज वी सो इन एलवेलर लिंगवा एलवेलर साउंड जस्ट behind that alveolar ridge the palate starts palate hard palate and soft palate so palatal sound is uh, articulated by 
the tongue touching to the hard palate the part of the roof of the mouth just behind the alveolar ridge and these sounds are sh 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 is fricative sh is fricative means the passage is not closed completely and that's why there is a gap between these two articulators hard palate and tongue and bet uh, between this gap air air can be pa passed and that's why it is sh j j j j as in pleasure 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 sh she she pleasure measure then it is ch ch j r y r y so these six are palatal uh, palatal sounds means lingua palatal articulated by the tongue touching to the hard palate uh, and uh, these are sh j ch j r y wheeler sound the next is a wheeler sound it refers to the consonant sounds produced with the tongue contacting the soft palate in the palatal sound the tongue contacts uh, the tongue comes in contact with the hard palate in a wheeler sound the tongue comes in contact with the soft palate the back part of the roof of the mouth soft palate and there are three sounds k k k g ng in plosive we saw k g in plosive sounds we saw k g the air is blocked at the back of the mouth with the, uh, with the contact of uh, back of the tongue and soft palate so k g in ang also we saw the oral tract of the uh, air is completely blocked by the back of the tongue and the soft palate and air passes through the nasal cavity so this k g ang k g ng these three are velar sounds then it is glottal it refers to the sound produced in the glottis glottis is a combination of vocal cords and the space in between the cords vocal cords and in uh, in between these uh, two sides of the vocal cords the space is there this play uh, this space is known as uh, glottis and this is her 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 is a glottal sound so friends it was uh it uh, it was uh, the place uh, um, these were the places of articulation where we produce the sounds in mouth the first it is the contact of two lips second it is the contact contact of tip of the tongue and alveolar ridge third it is the uh, tongue and uh, palate and there are tongue and soft palate tongue and hard palate in uh, uh, ba back part of the tongue and soft palate and gl glottis so these are the place of articulation again uh, we saw um, earlier we saw the manner of articulation then it is place of articulation now let's see the voicing the parts um, categories of the vowel sounds from voicing point of view voicing refers to whether the vocal cords are vibrating during the production of uh, particular sounds as i told you earlier ki जयरे अपने बे आंगड़ी कान में मूकी बोलवा प्रयत्न करूँ तो अपने एक साउंड में हमिंग संभाश बीजा साउंड में हमिंग नहीं संभात वेन वी लिसन टू देट हमिंग हमिंग साउंड इट मीन्स इट इज वॉइस्ड मतलब वोकल कोड वाइब्रेट्स द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ द वोकल कोड इज अ पैरामीटर टू नो वेदर द साउंड इज वॉइस्ड और नॉट वॉइस्ड साउंड्स हम मित्रों अँ एक वस्तु अपने ध्यान में राखीशू के अगौ अपने जय साउंड्स जो या, तो एने पेर में जो प्रयत्न करो तो फॉर एन एक्जाम्पल प्लॉसिव सो इन प्लॉसिव साउंड्स देर वर सिक्स साउंड्स एंड दीस सिक्स साउंड्स व पट इन थ्री पेर्स प ब एट इज वन पे ट ड एट इज सैकेंड पे एंड क ग इज थर्ड पे इन ऑल दस थ्री पेर्स द फर्स्ट साउंड इज वॉइसलेस ते जो मैं तमने जे अपने जो बात करी के कान में बे कान में आंगड़ी नाखी और एने बोलवा प्रयत्न करूँ तो हमिंग संभाय से नहीं संभात एना विषे अपने जीशू तो पमा अपन हमिंग नहीं संभात टमा अपन ने हमिंग नहीं संभात कमा अपन ने हमिंग नहीं संभात इट मीन्स प ट 
and k these three are voiceless sounds in this three pairs it means the second sound of the pair t d p b b d g b b that humming we will listen to that humming and that humming sound means voiced sound so b is voiced d is voiced g is voiced so in this plosive pa ba ta da ka ga pa ta ka voiceless sounds ba ba da ga voiced sounds so here it is b d g w th z j z m n n l y w r are voice sounds and voiceless sounds are p t k f s sh th ch h means there are eight pairs generally p b t d p b t d k g three pairs f w th d s z sh j ch j this five pairs total eight pairs from this eight pairs the first eight sounds are voiceless second eight sounds are uh, voiced rest of the sounds are again voiced but h is again voiceless sound so if we look at the sounds from voiced and voiceless voicing point of view nine sounds are voiceless sounds and 40 uh, 15 sounds are voiced sounds this is uh, the consonant chart from all three categories manner point of view place point of view voicing point of view see stop consonant p t k voiced sounds and p is bilabial t is alveolar k is alveolar b voiced d voiced g voiced f th s sh h voiceless sounds w d z j is a uh, voiced sound ch voiceless sound z voiced sound ma na ang voiced sounds l voiceless sounds uh, sorry voiced sounds r voiced sounds w y voiced sounds so this is a consonant chart now consonant sounds and corresponding letters so p b t t is produced by t um, a t b t or p t you see example task t t t attentive t t about t t doubt the last it is b t that b t is b t is pronounced as t receipt that p t is pronounced as t d sound d represents the sound day hidden lady kind as i told you earlier k c double c c h q u e represent k sound for an example kind sky blanket coal accurate character chameleon mechanic unique technique g g h and x h represent g sound game ago exhilarate Exil exhilarate ghastly exhibit dog ghost hmm? c s s c p s produce s sound center agency notice send simple s x z represents z sound cause c a u s e cause present reason s s h s c h c h t i o t i e c i s i these letters represent sh sound in the words for an example schedule champagne chef nation patient special g s i o s u this represent these letters represent sh sound for an example mirage garage vision fusion visual measure pleasure th represents th sound th represents the sound now look at the difference thank and this f double f u g h p h represent f sound 
V represents V sound. Later C H and T C H represents Ch sound. Later G, D G E and J represents J sound. For an example, general, suggest, energy, bridge, age, judge. M, M B, L M. This combinations represents M sound. C mother, lamb, and bomb. Calm. Later, n combinations like n, k n, g n, p n. This uh, represents n sound. For an example, napkin, knee, knife, no sign, foreign, pneumonia, pneumatic. N g. Late combination of n g represents ng sound, as in king, sing, singer, singing, bang. Later, l represents l sound. H and W H represent H sound. Later Y represents Y sound. Later W and W H represents W sound. Later R, double R, R H, W R represents R sound. But later Y, later Y functions as both vowel and consonants. For an example, as vowel, later Y sounds E. For an example, baby. Hurry. It also sounds like I. For example, by nylon type. As consonant, it sounds year. For example, year. Tomitro. Today we looked at consonant sounds in English. There are twenty-four consonants. These consonants are categorized in three different categories, like manner point of view, place point of view, voicing point of view, and beside these categories, we have seen which letter in English alphabet represents what sound in uh, with the examples of words. It is advised to refer the dictionary. Look into dictionary. Dictionary will tell you which letter represents what sound because in a dictionary the pronunciation is printed in uh, IPAs, International Phonetic Alphabets. Here, whatever symbols we uh, uh, we have used are known as IPAs, International Phonetic Alphabets. So we have to be very careful. Finally, uh, uh, I would like to tell you that whatever dictionary you use. Uh, if it is English to English dictionary, the first ten introductory pages will uh, introduce you these uh, consonants and vowel sounds, and they will be very useful for you to understand the pronunciation of English. Thank you very much. Sandham, all Gujarat integrated classroom. Satellite na madhyam thi jodti kadi, itle Sandham.